Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is CSE Workshop. I'm your host, Deka Hartman, and welcome to today's tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be making a carousel, also known as a slider. So the idea behind it is quite simple. It rotates. Imagine a triangle that rotates around itself. In our case, we have three images, one, two, three. And when it turns around, we come back to the first image. So think of it like this. You're standing still and there's a carousel in front of you. Each time it turns, there's a different horse in front of you. So the frame that you're seeing here is your, um, how do you call it? Um, line of vision, I think it's called. And as this turns around, each time you're going to be seeing a different image or it can be a different content. It really depends what you want to do with it. So and uh, if you get the basic idea behind it, we can get to work now. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my basic HTML structure. Also defined some CSS rules, added a background color. It's an, an almost white-ish color, but I don't like the idea of having a pure white background color. So yeah, okay, let's go. So the first thing we want to do is we're just going to have a div with the class of carousel. And then inside of this div, we want to have two buttons with the classes of carousel button with the class of carousel button. They're going to have the same class, whatever. So I'm just going to copy paste this real quick. So for the one on the right, we want it to float right. So we're just going to declare it. And then for the one on the left, we obviously want it to be floating left, except the one above was the one that was supposed to be floating left, not the one below. So inside of these, I'm just going to have the greater and um, less than signs inside of them. I just don't really have any SVGs or any sort of images to use in that. So um, yeah. If we increase the size of the page, as you can see, we have our buttons now. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to have an in between of these two buttons, we're just going to have a div with the ID of horse, which stands for the, well, each horse that's going to be in our carousel. Okay, so, um, no, by the way, before I forget to tell it, I also added the images that I'm going to be using here. Oh, it's not loading. These are like a a bit unnecessarily large in resolution. I mean, you can work with any resolution you want, but I'm just using like 4K and stuff because why not? Okay, so the next step we're just gonna declare some CSS rules for our carousel. <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat's a bit. Whatever. So we want our carousel to have a height of actually. Let's see. So we want it to be 16 by 9 because why not? Uh, so we want it to have a, let's see, 360 pixels of height. I think will be good. So uh, width wise, we want it to be, let's see, it should be about um, 640 pixels wide. But I think we're going to need like 40 pixels extra for each. Um, Button. So let's just go ahead and declare it as 720 pixels here. Uh, and then we want to center this div. So we're just going to go ahead and type margin zero auto. Actually, not, let's not make it zero. Let's make it um, 50 pixels top bottom because I just don't want it sticking to the top. Uh, oh, we forgot to refresh. This is live preview. Okay, so we can see that there's a margin of 50 pixels on top. Uh, we also see that these are placed inside of the div. So one last thing I want to add is a, a background color so we can actually see uh, what the div is. So actually, hold on. I think there was this shade of green. What was its code? Um, 27AE60, I think it was. Yep. Or 
refresh there we go just like this so um for the buttons what we're gonna do is carousel button so sorry button so we want them to have a height of 360 pixels my bad and then I want them to have a width of 40 pixels each let's hit refresh and there we go I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the border as well I don't like the built-in borders um, actually let's just add a background color of um, I don't know aquamarine maybe <laughs> yeah, let's hit refresh there we go oh and one last thing before I forget it font size 25 pixels should be good yep actually now let's just go ahead and do it 20 pixels okay so the next thing we're gonna do we're just gonna define some rules for our holes so horse so we want it to be 16 by 9 actually first let's just add the background color so we know what we're doing um, let's just make it this reddish brown like is this actually brown I don't know okay so we want it to have a width of let's see it's 16 by 9 it's 360 pixels tall so 640 pixels I think why and in a, in a height of 360 pixels let's hit refresh oh we forgot to float it left so now it's more flowy float left let's hit refresh there we go it's perfectly balanced now inside of this holes we're gonna have an image I'm just gonna get rid of this alternative let's see let's go with pick jumbo.jpg first we hit refresh and it's overflowing because the image is too big for the current div so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and limit the size of the image so horse image we wanted to have a height of well, what was it six three hundred and sixty pixels and then it's gonna have a width of 640 pixels so it does not overflow much better <clears throat> now okay so I'm just gonna remove this background color because we no longer need or want it and then uh, I'm just gonna cut this and then paste this here which will hopefully make it look better and uh, one last thing I really want to change the color of the you know the signs inside of the buttons so what was it um it's oh it's the same as background color you see f0 f1 there we go it's now much nicer actually hold on I thought I think they were supposed to be transparent so b3 there we go they're a tad bit more transparent now Oh, uh, so sorry. One last thing. Border radius five pixels, and then overflow. Actually, let me just show this real quick. So let's make it five pixels solid, and then let's make it black because I want to show something. Okay, so actually, you know what? It's not showing. I was gonna make it. Let's see. Oh no, wait. It wasn't five pixels. It was twenty pixels, and then let's just make it one pixels so it's overflowing so just an advice when it overflows like this you just want to go ahead and type overflow hit it'll save your lives trust me but for this part we don't need a border we probably should have a border it looks it would have looked nicer I guess so um, yeah I'm just gonna add one last thing and then we're gonna be done with the CSS I'm just gonna add a hover element here and then this is no longer going to be transparent so these last two um, characters at the end of the hex code are what decided its transparency okay so let's get going so 
Below our body tag, we're going to have a script of type text slash JavaScript. And inside of this, we're just going to have a have an array const horses. Oh my bad. So inside each one of these, we're just going to actually let me just do this real quick. So we're going to use single quotes instead of double quotes because um, we're actually going to pass this on to our JavaScript function as an as a single string. So there we go. So this is the first horse. Uh, I kind of forgot to let out. God damn it. Okay, so we're just going to change the JPEG to, let's see, which one's the next? Give me high. So um, there will be a link to the um, images in the description below. So if you want to download them, you can. I found them on the internet. Okay, so let's go. And the last one will be some of uh, JPEG. And we're just going to need, need a variable i, which will be equal to zero. And there we go. Okay, so I just want to write a little function here to initialize the um, carousel real quick when the page is loading. So document dot get element by id. Dot, and I think you guys can see where this is going. Um, dot inner HTML equals horses dot zero. So we're just going to go ahead and type arm load initial. Okay, so uh, now we should see our first horse. And uh, if we change this to two, for an example, the image will change. No, it did not. Why did it not change? Hmm. Oh, it's because it's zero, not I. My bad, my bad. So, and if we change it, we should see that the image is changing. So, the next two functions we're going to be writing are going to be to change the value of i. So, function next, and then the, my bad, function previous. So we have this global i variable in our JavaScript. So what's going to happen is that uh, when the script loads for the first time in the page, this i variable is going to be zero. Because you know how indexes work in arrays, right? Uh, zero, one, two. And then what's going to happen in this next is every single time we press the next button here, it's going to increase the value of i by one. And then it's going to display the horse with the index of i, which it will be one if we're incrementing it only once. But so one thing we don't want happening though is we're just gonna have an if statement here. If i is equal to two, it means that we're at the end of the carousel, so we should switch back to the index zero. So what's gonna happen is i will be zero from here if it's two. And then what's going to happen is we're just going to copy paste this. It's going to load the same thing. If, if it's not 2, which means it's below 2, i will be incremented by 1. And then we're just going <coughs> to print out, I mean, display this, say, next horse. So let's just um, type this in and then try it out, shall we? Next. Let's reload this. Let's see if it's working. And there we go. So this previous one isn't working, obviously, but because we haven't implemented it yet. But basically, what it's going to be is just a copy of the first one, except this time it's going to decrease the i. So we're just going to make this decrease the i instead of increasing it. So we're just going to go ahead to uh, where is it? This. Here it is, on click, previous. So let's reload the page and try again. So as you can see, it works just like this. So I hope this tutorial helped you to, um, to be able to make a carousel, also known as a slider. 
Uh, so thank you for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, so uh, see you in the next tutorial.